So take me away, I don't mind, but you better promise me I'll be back in time. And welcome to my eighth Let's Play installment. This is one of my favorite RPGs on the SNES. Right up there with Secret of Mana, Second Densetsu 3, and Final Fantasy 6. This is Chrono Trigger. And we'll just ignore all those test files there and start a new game. And we can either choose active or wait. And we're going to choose wait because in this game we have all the time in the world. Literally. I'll keep him the default name, Chrono. Yeah, I'm not going to name him anything silly like Boner or a whore. Any of that nonsense. Wake up, Chrono. You've been asleep for almost nine hours now. Ugh. I had a terrible nightmare. I dreamed that I went back in time. It was terrible. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1000 AD. 1000 AD? <laughs> ah, poor Chrono. All of the events and all the nonsense could have been avoided. If he'd have just stayed in that bed. Oh, we're not going to behave ourselves. We're a kid. Ah, it's all your fault, Mom. All right, let's get moving. Ah, an inventor friend of ours, huh? It's probably Sid. Oh no, it's Luca. Yeah, it's usually a Sid in these Square Enix games. Alright. Ah, no problem. Of course we're not going to be back before dinner. Yeah, you send a kid alone and you give him $200? <laughs> yeah, he'll be back next week. Yeah, there's other places we can explore, but... Yeah, let's, on, let's get on with the game. Like I said before, we have all the time in the world to explore this area. Yeah, the Millennial Fair, huh? Okay. <laughs> sort of like Sid and Mid from... What was that, Final Fantasy V? I don't know, I can't remember. Yeah, here we could buy some a karate gi or a blonde bronze helm, but... Yeah, we don't really need any of that stuff yet. And here you have certain items. The tonic restores 50 HP. Yeah, I get a couple of those. The heal restores status, like I said before. Revive is like a phoenix down. And the shelter is like a tent in Final Fantasy games. Eh, who else we can talk to? Yeah, there's little mini games you can play here, but I really don't care for any of them. Hmm. All right. So if I find any, I'll be sure to let you know. Yeah, see what you got. Wow, four thousand dollars? You gotta kid me. Yeah, but I will buy the Iron Blade. Yeah, a little bit later on in the game, we can find one, but... Yeah, we have the money for it, so... May as well buy it now. And to equip, just... Yeah, easier said. Just hit the action button. But I'm using a Lockitech controller, so... It's supposed to be the A button, but my button is the, the zero button, so... <laughs> Yeah, don't worry about silver points just yet. 
this guy. Oh, all right. Well, you're walking around. Hmm. <laughs> Man, that must have been his lunch. <laughs> oh well. Okay. <laughs> Beat me up and earn 15 silver points. <laughs> this guy sings worse than me. <laughs> oh, so this is Luca's machine, huh? He's been... She's been making reploids in her backyard, huh? He looks like the, the first boss she faced in Mega Man X2, that, that fat guy. Just that he's purple and this guy is red. Yeah, it's just a pretty much a tutorial fight. <laughs> yeah, when he sings, you lose about yeah, you lose one HP. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hit him from behind. All right, you get ten experience points and a tech point. Here's 15 points. Now nah, wasn't that fun. Now nah, shut the hell up. <laughs> and you get 15 silver points. With those silver points, you can play certain mini. Ah, oh, come on, get back in here. You can play certain mini games and stuff like that. But <laughs> I'll take his lunch again. Ah, uh, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Now, nah, now nah, I feel a little bit guilty about that now. No, I don't. <laughs> it's kind of a little vulgar there. All right, we'll come back in a while. Oh, no, I'm not okay. I'm sucking gravel. Oh, you're pendant. Hmm. Yeah, wait a minute. Hmm. Wasn't there somebody that said that uh, you get big bucks for for pendants there? I don't care about your cat. Yeah, let's go visit that that merchant. He said he'll buy uh, pendants for a lot of money. Yeah, wizard, huh? Where's that merchant again? Magus. Who the hell is that? Eh, nobody I care about. That was like 400 years ago. Who cares? Oh, this mini game. Oh, this thing is rigged. It's like those carnival games in Six Flags and Coney Island. Like that basketball game with the oval hoop. Come on, you know you can never get that. Oh, I got that though. And you get a silver point. Basically, those silver points, you can. There's a place uh, up to the north there where you can you can trade them in like 10 for like 50 gold. Yeah, this is the guy. Ah, oh, come on. I wanted to make some money. Ah, forget you. Rip off. Actually, no, no, no. Nah. Eh, yeah, you can have it back. Yeah, nobody wants to sell it anyway. Nobody wants to buy it anyway. Yeah, all right. And we have... Ooh, <laughs> look at her face. Eh, she has a face only a mother can love. Eh, we'll name her Marl. It's like a prison mugshot there. I guess Marl is short for Marlboro. Yeah, look at her face, like she's been smoking more po something more potent than a Marlboro there. Yeah, you already said that. Oh, all right.
Yeah, we can sell that wooden sword. Won't be needing that again. Oh, okay. I've been trying to this... I've been trying to for the last six minutes. Heard you get about 8,000 gold for that. What? Come on. You said you wanted to... You said you want me to... You said you wanted to buy it. And I said, oh, no, I, I don't want it now. Uh, I don't care about candy. Let's go. Come on. A kidnapper? Uh, tell it to the judge. No kidnapper. Alright, I'll wait. Yeah, I'll, I'll be nice to her because, you know. Yeah, I feel a little bit guilty about the way I treated her for the past six minutes there. Hmm. Funny how Taban looks like Frankenstein. <laughs> like one of those Lego men I used to play with when I was a kid. <laughs> the bark. <laughs> Is it the dark side of the moon or the back side of the moon? Yeah, I've been trying to sell that pendant. You're a little bit too excited there, Marlboro. All systems on. Alright. Reminds me of the old movie The Fly. <laughs> I think that's where they got this uh this idea from. He had the same teleporter, instead of like a fly flew into the little teleporter. Eh, nobody remembers that movie. Huh? I bumped into her. This vision of loveliness. I guess you didn't see her photo on the menu screen, huh? Yeah, throw the switch. energy transfer. And enter creepy music. Damn it, I knew I should have sold that pendant. Is that? Looks like a battle background from Earthbound or Mother 3. <laughs> Show's over, folks. <laughs> bleep, bleep, bleep. That's all, folks. So we're gonna tell the judge. <laughs> we're gonna get a good lawyer. Better find Matlock or Phoenix Wright or somebody. We're all going to jail. And you wanna be a hero. A foolish hero, but a hero nonetheless. Ah, 
Uh, we can go back and sell it now. Come on, Taban. One of the stuff never works. It's probably Taban, the tool man Taylor. What are you banging on there, Taban? Quit banging on it. That's probably why it broke in the first place. And we're sucked into the void. How are you gonna follow me? You don't have the pendant. They never explained that. Don't worry about it. And back into the Mother 3 random battle background, but unfortunately for Chrono, he won't be seeing his mother for a while, because the next leap will not be the leap home. Next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Oh boy. Chrono, the adventurer. Chrono, warrior without fear. He's more powerful than any man. His legend spreads across the land and sea. And we have a new challenger. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, these guys is basically trash mob. One hit wonders. And bye bye, so long, farewell. And we get four experience, two tech points, some gold, level up, and we learn a cyclone, our first tech of the game. And we get a tonic. And we get a power glove. Yeah, let's equip that power glove. Just go to the accessories. It increases your power by two. Yeah, we'll equip that. And that bandana, it just increased your speed by one, but... Ah, uh, I'd rather have the power. Aw, aren't they cute? Let's kill them. And put that cyclone to use. Cyclone is more of a range tech, a zone tech, I mean. Yeah, that one on top is out of range. So we can just kill these two. I could have waited till that little blue imp on top walks down, walks down to the bottom, but... Yeah, I just better off killing them like this. Yeah, the enemies can move around in battle, but unfortunately, you can't. All right, let's get out of here. All right, truce in. Mm, residence. And yeah, another residence. Uh, we'll start off at the market. Figure out where the hell we are. Magus' army. We fought him like 400 years ago. Ah, I can't get those chests. Window shoppers, huh? Eh, I'll probably come back and get that dart gun for later. Eh, I'm gonna pick up that bronze helm. Yeah, tonic. Yeah, I really don't need anything else. And we're gonna stop in the truce in here. Maybe somebody will tell us where the hell we're at. First, we're gonna stop in the inn here. Hey, right, what's this? Oh, okay. Sealed by a mysterious force. I guess the force isn't with me today. We'll leave those for later. And what do you have to say? <laughs> Man.
Vegas' army, huh? Yes, fuck you then. Eh, what do you have to say? Ah, oh, they destroyed the bridge, huh? That's a pretty good, pretty good way to keep the enemy out. I remember when I was overseas in Korea, that was uh, one of the plans of the South Korea to had a sort of collapsible bridges to keep the North Korean army from invading any further south. Yeah, you can't talk? Yeah, you're busy drinking, huh? Yeah, I guess we're not, uh, we're not in Kansas anymore. Yeah, sure, I'll pay. Oh, yeah, that bartender runs, huh? Yeah, we got money. Ah, the missing queen. Ah, the cathedral to the west, huh? Oh, okay, oh, never mind. No, I guess that's one less side quest we have to do. Yeah, down there is the Zenon Bridge. And there's the cathedral right there, but... We're gonna head into the forest first. Do some exploring. And fight some trash mobs. Throwing rocks? <laughs> Stick your tongue at me. Yeah, let's give these guys a cyclone. That's my shit, Burgess! That's my shit, Burgess! Oh, how about the hell Ken says in Street Fighter? Oh, that's how I used to say it when I was a kid. Like, oh, Ken! Ah, something shiny. Yeah, just like in Resident Evil games, yeah, if you see something shiny, you pick it up. And the power tab, it increases your power by one. Yeah, I'm talking about the, the real Resident Evil games, not the ones after Code Veronica. Those don't exist for me. And we get more trash mobs. Let's see if I can wait till they move closer together so I can use a cyclone against them. Ah. Come on, hurry up. Yeah, they're not gonna move. Yeah, Rolly Rider. Bye bye, so long, farewell. Ah, critical hit. That's one thing I like about this game, they give you a lot of critical hits. Ah, yeah, let's move on. Ah, right, what's in here? Hey! Alright, we got a shelter. And what do we get in here? A random battle. Alright, we get 10 experience points, 4 tech, and some gold. Alright, I'll take it. And I get some more experience. Alright, we get to level up. Yeah, I'll mostly be editing out, editing out most of the random battles. Unless I'm showing off a tech or... No, I have something to say. Halt, who goes there? It is I, sire. Richard of Nottingham. Stop lying. I'm not a Magus' troopers. <laughs> My stamp collection. Call me a shrimp. My character sprite's much bigger than yours. What you talking about? Don't talk about my hair either. Those metal condoms you got on your head. Show your manners. <laughs> Giggle. Giggity giggity. All right. Yeah, these dopes have nothing to say. Coral pin, huh? 
All right, downstairs to the left, huh? Okay. What do you have to say, old man? Nah, I don't care about you. Hmm. This guy looks suspicious. Let's follow this guy. Metal Gear style. Dun 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 dun. Nah, nothing here. And here, yeah, we get a hundred gold. Yeah, those chests like those. I'll explain later. And seal with a mysterious energy. Yeah, the little brown chest. If you come back here much later on in the game, you'll get a better item. But God, honest truth, I really don't give a shit. <laughs> get out of my face. <laughs> yeah, the only chest I really care about is the ones that seal with a mysterious energy. Frog thing, huh? Yeah, I wouldn't trust a guy that looks like a frog either. <laughs> yeah, he just looks like a weirdo. And I'm gonna raid the king's room. And we get a bronze mail. I'll equip that. Yeah, if you come here much later on in the game, uh, these chests will be like elixirs and mega, big mega ethers or something like that. Stuff I never use anyway, so I really don't give a crap. Yeah, the cathedral, huh? Yeah, forget you, Chancellor. Yeah, like I said before, the only chest I really care about is the ones that are sealed with a mysterious synergy. I hardly ever use um, mega elixirs. Who the hell use mega elixirs? You usually wait for those, uh, use those at the end of the game, and you, you end up beating the final boss, and you end up still having them in your inventory, so. Yeah, I'll grab this. Yeah, later on it will become a hyper ether, but I don't give a crap. Ah, the queen awaits. Hmm. Ah, she married into the family, huh? Probably for money. Another Anna Nicole Smith. I think Krona wants to do something more than talk. Yeah, see? I wasn't lying. <laughs> well, what are you showing me there, Queen? Oh, it's Marl. Oh, so you're not Queen Lean. Oh, this Marley's theme, I always found that weird. It sounds like a little lullaby, a little that hangs on a little kid's uh little kid's bedroom under a crib. Those are little things you wind up and you play above the, the little baby's crib. Yeah, it's probably that dress is a little bit tight, uh, let me help you with that. in 60 seconds. Panty raid! And we get an ether. Nah. Yeah, much later on in the game it'll become a hyper ether. Oh, yes I did. She disappeared. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> well, yeah, I did. <laughs> Yeah, what do you have to say? I grow tired of the gossip around here. Oh, so what was that you said again? Yeah, right. Yeah, nothing we do is head out of here. Hey, it's Luca. 
How the hell did you get here? You don't have no pendant. Princess Nadia, huh? Oh, so she's a descendant of Queen Lee. Queenie Lee. The Lean Queen. What's that frog guy they was talking about? What's this guy doing? Ah, oh, come on. That little thing can't kill anybody. You giving me the raspberry? Only one person give me the raspberry. Lone Star. You know, it's funny, those things are like the viruses from the Dr. Mario game. <laughs> little numb nuts. As a result, Princess... Why is there two spaces in between Princess and Nadia there, game? Ah, uh, Ted Woolsey. Alright, we gotta find the real queen. But of course, if, that, if our queen, Marley, is dead, that means her pendant's gone. So that means we disappear too, huh? Ah, I guess not. Cause, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll grab this here. Yeah, let's talk to the chef. Ah, yeah, screw you. Ice cream. Yeah, the plot and the time mechanics of this game, yeah. You're gonna have to take it like a used car. You're gonna have to take it as is. Once you drive it on off the lot. It's yours to keep. <laughs> Where's supper? No soup for you. Come back. Three years. But we're still hungry. Yeah, it must be the soup Nazi down there. <laughs> Says, shut up and cook. Get in the kitchen. <laughs> Shut your trap. Yeah, no soup for you. Come back. Ten years. And if you sit here... Hurry up. Uh, no jambalaya? Yeah, I think the first selection restores your HP. The second one restores your MP, I believe. But just pick the Hyper Kebab. It'll, re it'll restore your HP and MP. As such. Yeah, give her that bronze helm there. Alright, let's move on. have to find the real queen. Hey, I'm gonna head back to the Guardia Forest. Hey, I'll show off this battle. Yeah, this is Cyclone. And Luca has a long-range weapon, so it's affected by her hit. Not her power. But, you see her use uh, that melee attack. If the enemy's close, she'll just whack her with the gun there. That's determined by her power. Yeah, her power stat. And every time you come through here, yeah, this guy will always drop a shelter, so you can pretty much come back through here, back and forth and back and forth, and keep getting those shelters. I'll pre probably be doing that in between this episode and the next.
And I'm gonna come back to the market and pick up a weapon for Luca there. And get that dart gun. Alright, so a good time to stop the episode. Next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger, we'll check out that cathedral those soldiers were talking about. And we'll do some more exploring and adventuring with Chrono, the adventurer. Chrono, man of bravery, with his iron sword protecting the mightiest of warriors indeed. And off screen I went back to the Guardia Forest and picked up a couple shelters. Eh, yeah, ten should do for now. And let's head off to that cathedral that the, those soldiers were talking about. Yeah, let's talk to a couple of these nuns here. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty weird. <laughs> Can you play? Yes, sir! Uh, what's this here? A hairpin. What was that for Red 13? What? None shall pass. Literally. Eh, I guess we caught holy hell. We're gonna give it right back to him with a cyclone. Yeah, these Nagas are pretty resistant to physical attacks. Eh, I don't care about their slow spell. Yeah, let's give him another cyclone. Ah, damn it, one of them moved. Hope you take these two out. Nah, I got one. Ah. Ah, still gonna get two. Luca should take her out. Ah, oh, good. Critical hit. Perfect. Yeah, whittling, whittling him down. Shortly, shortly, but surely. Yeah, that stupid slow spell is starting to get annoying now. Ah, uh, quit dragging out the battle. Oh, I got two HP left. And she's gone. And I get a level up there. And we get Flame Toss. Oh, thank God. And we get a Dual Tech, Fire Whirl. Yeah, I needed that Fire Whirl. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty good for this area. Ah, it's that weird frog guy that I was talking about. Lo and thine guard, and thou art allowing the enemy in. Thou art here to save the queen? The ladder is deep within. Will thee accompany me? <laughs> well, it's better than an oglop. My guise doth not incur thy trust. Very well, do as thee please. But I shall save the queen. <laughs> of course we're going to go with the frog. One does not refuse the frog. Yeah, you better. And we're, gonna, we're not going to name him Frog. I'm going to give him a more fitting name. 
just so I will get confused later on in this game. And yeah, we're gonna name him Glenn. And hey, muscles there, <laughs> Glenn. <laughs> May have a hidden door, search nigh. Let us search the environs. Yeah, the environs means this organ right here. And before we go in that door, we're gonna go outside and use a shelter. So the enemy base is in a church, huh? Yeah, they're really gonna catch holy hell. Not that monsters believe in God anyways. And my one of my favorite themes of the game. This theme is called Silent Light. And I'm gonna sneak past these idiots here and grab a revive. And we're gonna grab a tonic. Hey, excuse me, buddy. And we're gonna come through this door here. Grab ourselves a tonic, an ether, and a maiden suit, which I'll equip on Luca here. I don't know what she's doing with a karate gi. She doesn't look like much of a fighter. And Glenn, he has all the bronze helm and bronze mail already. And here we can get the Naget Bromide. I don't know what they're doing with Bromide. It's, what is it, like potassium Bromide or nitrate or something? Is that like saltpeter? <laughs> Alright, let's try out that fire whirl. Ah, I can only get two. Ah. Yeah, magic will pretty much take out any enemy in this area. But basically, the f flame toss by Lucas probably is the only magic that we have for now. Ah, good critical there, Frog. Yeah, they're pretty resistant to physical attacks. So, Flame Whirl and Flame Toss are the way to go. Yeah, if you're in the military, you know what the <laughs> saltpeter is. <laughs> there was always that rumor in basic training that they always put saltpeter in the drinks. Basically what saltpeter is, it's pretty much the opposite of Viagra. Yeah, every every day is one day is uh oh don't drink the green Kool-Aid, it has saltpeter in it. And the next day is don't drink the red Kool-Aid, it has saltpeter in it. Hey, talk to these guys. Yeah, it's Magus, huh? More Magus. Alright. And we can check this pot. And we get a power tab. Yeah, I'll be using all those pat tabs sometime later on in the game. Come on, can I get out? Yeah, there we go. And we're gonna come around here. Damn it. Yeah, I remember one time in basic it was, ah, uh, they put the uh, saltpeter in the eggs. Don't eat the eggs. <laughs> yeah, like every day it was like one thing they, they people said there was a rumor that they put the saltpeter in. And there's a flame toss. It pretty much uh, attacks on a line, as you can see there. Yeah, I get three tech points, some gold, and a revive. All right. Yeah, at one point in time in basic training, I was just eating the cereal. And that was it. Yeah, it looks like these guys are having a good meal here, too. Yeah, what does she have to say? Yeah, that was nasty. <laughs> Ah, so that's what happened. So that's a fake chancellor in there. Hmm. All right. That was like a uh, McDonald's fries or something. Probably like human guts and all the other crap in that pot too. Right, let's follow this guy. 
Metal Gear style. Yeah, we don't get, we don't want to get alerted. Ah, uh, you know that's a fake queen. Yeah, it's probably a fake king too. Ah, oh, yes we are. Ah, yeah, but first we're gonna grab this treasure here, 100 gold. And I get an ether. And if you rub up the side of this wall, come here to this little secret area. All these people are worshipping Magus. That's a nice little song there. And we get a speed belt. Oh Magus, oh Magus. And we get one defender. Eh, let's see, I'll put that speed belt on Luca, cause... Yeah, she's slow as hell. Eh, yeah, I'll give him the, the, the defender. Yeah, raise Luca's speed somewhat. So I'm gonna be needing her flame toss. It's pretty weird all the monsters are worshipping Magus and... Megas doesn't even look like a monster, he looks like a human. Nah, I never got that. Ah, uh, but I'm gonna get this. Ah, just cheap snakes. Ah, just give him a cyclone. And pretty much about the dual text, in order to learn dual text, you have to have certain texts from each character. So in order to learn the Fire World, you have to learn Cyclone from Chrono, and you have to learn Flame Toss from Luca. Yeah, that's why I got that uh, that double tech. Yeah, it's not separate separate tech points. You have to learn to get the double the dual techs. And yeah, sneak past these clowns and past these guys because I don't feel like editing out random battles. Thank you. And here's a save point, you can use a shelter. Or you can save. Yeah, I'll use this slot. The queen is gone. No shit, Sherlock. And if you go up here, you can't do anything here. It's nothing but spikes. And before going down those stairs, we want to pick up our shelter. And now we can go down the stairs. Or better yet, slide down them. This guy's sleeping, I'll leave him alone. Yeah, these bozo bats. You just walk around them. And yeah, there's bats up there too. And, ah, they're not even worth fighting. And yeah, you get a tonic and a heal. No entry. Well, of course not. There's a wall there, stupid. I'll roll past him. Yeah, excuse me. Thank you. And yeah, past this little derpy looking bat here. Ah, damn it, ah, I forgot to hit a switch up there. Oh, well. Ah, let's go back. There we go. That'll lower those spikes that are on the wall there to the left. And get past him. And we're home free. Ah, I guess we're not home free. Yeah, I got a couple of bozos to take care of. Let's see if I can wait for Luca there. Come on, Luca. There we go. Ah, get them all with a fire whirl. Well, I just barely got that one to the left there. <laughs> yeah, he was just barely in the zone. Eh, hey, Frog. That's his slurp move. It pretty much heals you. Ah, good critical there, Frog. Or better yet, Glenn. Yeah, take this last guy out. There we go. Yeah, get some experience, tech points, and some gold, and a level up. 
And I'm gonna grab this iron sword. I think that's for Glenn. Yeah, it is. And the same thing as before. Just use the uh, the piano there. Yeah, you play better than Chris Redfield. Chris Redfield cannot read music. <laughs> remember, I still remember that line from Resident Evil. And let's go around these guys. Don't hit that skull switch. It'll just uh, alert more enemies. Yeah, use a tonic on Chrono here. Yeah, I won't be doing that much level grinding in this game. Yeah, let's see if I can bypass these guys. Ah, damn it. Alright, I got a 38 experience, 4 tech points. And I got a couple levels. Slurp cut. And X-Strike. Ah, oh, that's the one I wanted. Haha, <laughs> good. Got that right before the boss. Yeah, I won't be doing that much level grinding in this game. The only, probably the only grinding I'll be doing is for, for techs. Prepare yourself for what? Glenn. Majesty, stand back and allow us the honor. Be careful. Yeah, another idiot chancellor. <laughs> Getting pretty sick of these chancellors. And we get our first boss battle of the game. And let's try out that X strike. Oh, I love this move. Haha. <laughs> Probably one of my favorite dual techs of the game. And basically, Luca, all you're gonna be doing is chucking tonics around. And Chrono and Glenn. Strike. That's all you really need to do here. Chrono and Glenn X Strike and Luca should be just tossing the tonics around. And another X Strike. There we go. Yeah, he's pretty resistant to magic, so if you use uh the flame world doesn't do that that much damage, so X Strike is the way to go here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to heal up here. And let's use Slurp. Like I said before, it's probably it's just like a cure spell. And give another X Strike there. Yeah, pretty much like he's throwing pots and pans at you or something. Well, that's what it sounds like. Drew, asshole. And another X strike. Drew, or whatever the hell he's saying. Yeah, it's time for another heal there, Luca. Yeah, he's almost done though. And another X strike. Come on, got the clown. Give up now. Watch the X strike power will put you down. Come on, Yakra clown. Give up now. Watch the X strike power will put you down. Come on, Luca now. Heal me now. Cause I don't wanna die to this stupid clown. Sha! And he's gone. 
bye bye, so long, farewell. And we'll never see Yakra again. Yeah, right. The king awaits. Let us return to the castle. Hey, maybe if you kiss him, he'll turn into a prince. No? Eh, I guess that's another story. Anyway, we're gonna grab this treasure, mid ether, and the real chancellor. It's a dick in a box. <laughs> yeah, he is a dick in a box. Oh, that's a shame. And before we talk to the queen. Yeah, I'm gonna unequip Glenn here. Give him his old stuff. Because uh, he won't be in the party after you talk to the Queen, so... Eh, hey, I'll keep the Power Glove on him, because he came with that. That sword I'll sell. But don't worry, when, when Glenn comes back in the party next time, uh, we'll be going after a better sword for him. If you know what I mean. Alright. Ah, shut up, Chancellor. Yeah, I guess a talking frog and teenagers with attitudes. Yeah, don't cut it here in the year 600 AD. I failed to protect Queen Lee. I have disgraced thee. Ah, you gotta love frogs, theme. It's actually the first video I ever uploaded on YouTube was Frog's theme. Way back in 2010. Actually the first video I ever made was the Mr. Softy theme. I'm surprised it has about 150,000 views on it already. Like holy shit. <laughs> And we just head back up here. Hopefully, uh, Princess Nadia will be back. There she is. Huh? It was awful. I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, spaghettios. Yeah, cause we are so smart. SMRT. King Guardia the 33rd. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's talk to this guy here. Hmm. Stronger the resemblance to who? Maybe Chrono, perhaps? Hmm. Never really thought about that. You know, where's Chrono's ancestor in this time? Let's talk to Frog again. It was a fault of mine which endangered the Queen. I shall depart for good. Eek! <laughs> Indeed, your resemblance to the Queen is uncanny. The 
Inferno. You have potential to be a good swordsman. <laughs> Froggy. Alright, now I'm gonna get out of here and I'll meet you on the other side of the Guardia Forest. Alright, I'm back. And let's head inside this residence here and talk to this guy here. Banta, huh? Alright. If you don't know, the, these two here are Luca's ancestors. If you take the words Banta and you switch the words around, it spells Taban. Alright, let's get out of here. There's nothing else here. And I'm gonna head back to the market and sell all those items. And I'm gonna sell that iron blade and the iron sword. Yeah, it sells about 550 gold. Yeah, Frog won't be needing that. When we see him next time, uh, we'll be going after a better weapon for him. And let's head back to the Truce Canyon. Come on, can I get him? There we go. Yeah, we could bypass these guys. Eh, but you can't bypass these. Yeah, you really don't have to buy a lot of little items like ethers and tonics. The enemies drop them pretty often. Eh, let's head back. <laughs> Your Highness, or Princess, or please call me Marl. Short for Marlboro. Should have named her Salem. <laughs> Ain't it the truth? <laughs> yeah, right. It's a gate, huh? Oh, all right. Ah, so I guess she didn't need the pendant. She had to. She had to use the gate and the gate key. All right, that explains it. Yeah, because she used the key, didn't she? Ah, whatever. Yeah, it is getting pretty weird. Yeah, we're gonna have to take the time travel mechanics and the plot to this game. Like I said before, just just like a used car, you're gonna have to take it as is. 